Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Year. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, for God, please. Yeah. Yeah. I said that. I know. Can I get ready for the That's wrong. Yeah, you guys gave up 140 points last game, 132 today. 272 total. Yeah, you guys uh, got the win today, though. But what's lacking on defense in these last two games? Well, the team was putting the ball in the hole. Had a high clip the last two games. We we're fortunate to uh, to come up with a win. Can you talk about Montrez tying his career high with 34 in his game today? Won't be the last time we do it. So Coach talked about you were one of three guys who he's actually gave his play script to. How does that make you feel? And then do you feel good about calling the plays and getting, getting the team in, in, in motion and playing, running off into sets? Uh, he used to yell at me the last three years, so pretty fortunate to have a little, uh, a little bit more responsibility now. Did that, did that take you by surprise? Really? How can people play good? No. Uh, I knew I had a tough task uh, coming in uh, with a new team, new players, star-studded players. Uh, I just want to continue to get better as a player, as a point guard, uh, as a leader. Pat, it's sort of the point guard, your evolution as a point guard. Do you feel the team sort of that you had to find in the first round? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I feel, feel much comfortable than I did the first game. I feel more comfortable than I did 10, 10 games ago. Uh, Doc, you know, he's intense about his offense. He, like, he likes to run a certain way. And uh, uh, it's not something that happened overnight. It's, you know, this year is putting in the work. And, uh, you know, I'm fortunate to try to get better, go out there, and every day is just try to get better every day. Pat, you mentioned Doc's intensity with his offense. He says that he feels like he's doing less and able to give the reins more to you. Do you feel that too? Uh, I see him smiling a lot more than yelling at me all the time. But uh, you know me, uh, everything everything I do is uh, for the team to try to win as many basketball games that we possibly can. Uh, to go out there and try to do all the right things. Uh, you know, I'm not. I don't care if I score 40 points or four points. Uh, I just try to impact the game in a lot of other ways. And uh, so far this year, I've been successful, but I still have a lot of work to do. Given up those 272 points, what do you think you need to do better defensively out there? There's <laughs> uh, a lot of things we can do, uh, but uh, transition is one, of course. Uh, give him a lot of credit, man. The last two games, these, uh, like I said, these teams are coming out here want to, you know, want to play their best basketball they have, and uh, we just got to be up for a challenge every night. And uh, like I said, we're fortunate to get a win tonight, but uh, we have a lot, to, a lot of work to do, and. Uh, you know, the sky's the limit for us, and, uh, you know, we thrive on getting better, and we will be better. Pat, you're obviously a perfectly honest team. Do you guys have any kind of conversations between yesterday and today when you things out? No. No. We, uh, you know, with us, we like to keep things in house anyway. Um, so even if we did have a conversation, I probably wouldn't tell you anyway. But, um, no, nah, we, uh, we're professional. We know what we need to do. We understand the opportunity we have. As NBA players, as adults, you don't get this opportunity a lot. As a, as a basketball player, you dream about this opportunity to win a championship. And uh, it takes a lot of work. And uh, we got a, you know, a bunch of great group of guys who's uh, willing to put in the work day in and day out. Ted, you guys have been able to win games eventually earlier in the season. And now it's a bit more offensively. What's the key to making those two click at the same time? Uh, time. Time. I think we played one game fully healthy, two games. I mean, I think we lost. I'm sorry. I think we lost. When we were fully healthy, I think we lost one game. You, know, you just can't ever get you know fully healthy, but uh, and you got some days off, time to get some guys' body right, get your mind right, uh, go back, and get some practice in, be better, and we will come back and be better. And uh, everything else is just up in the air from that. From your, from your experience in the league, when is it about time that the team knows who they are? Is that after All Star break? Is that March? When do you kind of know who you are and what you guys can fully become? I think we wake up every day knowing exactly who the fuck we are every night. Uh, it's just us, for us to go out there and put it together uh, collectively as a unit. Uh, that takes time, uh, but we will be better. And uh, we have some time to practice and get better at the, the things that we need to get better at, whether if it's uh, uh, attention to detail def defensively or attention to detail offensively. Like I said, we're a work in progress. And uh, the more healthier we are, you know, I can give you a better uh, detailed answer of what type of team we are. But uh, I think we know exactly who we are.
Now, you ask Lou that question, Lou knows who he is every time he wakes up. Kawhi, Paul George, especially I do, Trez do, so we know who we are, but, you know, collectively as a unit, um, we, we, we have to get better than we will. Right, you guys have a great day. Thank you.